when you're the first boat pushing across the lake and it's nice and calm, you feel like you're exploring unknown territory. Being out on the water is, uh, that's like the Garden of Eden. That's peace. That's somewhere where you leave your problems behind. I have my own business and you're under pressure, but you step in the boat, push off the slip, everything is left behind you. You don't have to be the strongest, but you can still win just by being really technically good, figuring out what the water is doing and what you need to do to make it work. The easier it looks, the better it is, but at the same time, it takes a lot to make it look easy. It's a bit like an iceberg. They see the top bit, but there's a lot happening under the surface. It's for all ages. I've seen, I've seen eight-year-olds out rowing, I've seen 80-year-olds out rowing, so I think it's for everyone. And it, and it doesn't have to be a big competitive sport that all you want to do is race. I mean, I'm, I'm a para rower, so I'm TA, which is trunk and arms. So when I'm rowing, I don't use my legs at all. There are folks in every kind of community that take part, and, and, and it's a sport which brings people together. If you're sitting in a boat with somebody else from a different work environment or a different social environment, you're depending on them and they're depending on you. I'm always in a single, but it's not really just me who does it. First, there's a team. At the top level, there is an awful lot of pressure in the sport you have to perform, especially if you've set your goals and vocalised them, you do need to perform. You know, that actually gave me the confidence to take a career in medicine, which is a tough career. We have tough bosses. I kind of felt coming from rowing, I'd always see a tougher coach. <laughs> so it didn't really bother me as much. It just gives you the confidence to go and do something, you know. I've been able to associate my general approach to life with, with some of the skills that I've learned. Um, I mean, planning, discipline, a belief in oneself. And, and especially when the chips are down and I've had some difficult situations, I've never given up on myself and I've never given up on where I hope to be. Well, I since went on into business after Rowan and still nothing was tougher than the 10 years of hard training I'd done as an oarsman. Nothing. There's a lot of failure along the way. You learn from it and it's the same in work. Not everything works perfectly, not everything goes to plan. I was so lucky that I did get to race internationally and I got all the buzz of competition, which, you know, is really hard to live without actually now. I think it means a lot for people to row for Ireland and people do support each other an awful lot. Irish people can realise that they can be the best in the world and we have a programme in place now at Rowing Ireland where we're going to try and achieve that. We have the ambition to do that and we have a plan in place to do it as well.